Sheikh, uh, due to the present crisis going on, I was, uh, I'm above 60 years old. I've been going to masjid for prayers regularly, alhamdulillah. Mashallah. When I go recently, a couple of days before, on Fajr Namaz, by putting uh, a mask and uh, hand gloves, so people are making fun of me. One guy said, this is the for kitchen, 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 kitchen gloves. Why are you wearing black mask? I said, this is available in the pharmacy. My kids brought it. So the other guy said, you must have, you should have inserted yourself in a big bag, plastic bag. And the other guy was telling me, you must uh, come like a, like a doctor from the hospital nurse wearing a jacket or hospital you know, apron or something like that. All these things. It hurts me a lot. It hurts me a lot, believe me. Then since then, I have changed the place of my, uh, you know, uh, 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 what do you call it, place of prayers, namaz, and then I went to extreme right, on the first row. I used to pray just behind the imam every time, the next to the bottom. Okay. And likewise, every time they are making, uh, the, the old man, something he's been pointing. Uh, do, do, why are you all uh, using the um, uh, sanitizer every now and then? What is this? What is this? What is this? Everything, Allah, 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 Allah. Yeah, sure. What is this? It's nothing. It's okay. I, I got, it has nothing to do with you. I got your point, Abu Yusuf. So your question is, why are they doing this? Yeah. And one more. Finally, yes. Uh, they, they recently, the uh, they said 60 above 60 years old people are in a quickly catch this uh, stupid virus. You know, last um, mahalla. Uh, I don't know. So they said better stay at home and pray at home. So I went to Fajr. Then after that, I, I feel like going, but my children uh, stopping me. Please don't go, please don't go. I'm having a problem in my knee also. Knee problem also, walking and all that. Okay. The masjid. That's all I want to say. Right. I will answer you, inshallah. Now, Abu Yusuf is a casualty that has fallen in this war against the COVID-19. Not, alhamdulillah, fallen sick, but it's uh, uh, collateral damage, as they say. First of all, we have to address the issue of whether this fear is real or not. Now, whether you believe it's real or not, this is up to you. I have to keep this to myself. So if I believe that I shouldn't be shaking hands because all doctors say, that remain away from physical contact as much as possible. In Saudi Arabia, we embrace one another, we kiss on the cheek, we shake hands. So if I decided not to do this, this is my right. This is something that the doctors encourage me to do. So you have no right blaming me. But if you don't believe in that, and you start to shake hands with everyone you meet, this is up to you. I can't blame you. First of all, so we have to respect one another. The issue of bullying. People keep on bullying others. Why do you wear a mask? Why don't you put the lab coat on? You look like a doctor. Why do you put protective gloves? You, you're going to... Uh, uh, somewhere that is uh, polluted or dirty, you're going coming to the masjid. What? Ya akhi, it is none of your business. What I do is my concern. Who are you to talk to me about these things? Thirdly, you, Abu Yusuf, should rise up. You should not go down to their level. When they talk to you about this, just if you don't have your face mask on, just smile and shrug your shoulders and move on. Don't even reply to them. Bullies enjoy it when they take you out of your comfort zone, when they make you reply negatively or rudely, or just to agitate you. This is what fills them up with happiness and content. So let them speak their mind. Who cares? If you feel that you need to protect yourself like that, this is all up to you, but rise up. Don't go down to their level. 
Fourthly or fifthly, who's counting? The face mask, as the medical experts say, is worn only when you fear that you might be infected. But for healthy people, they say that the chances of you catching up and being infested in the mask is greater. So if you're okay, you're feeling okay, just take it off and wash your hands thoroughly for 40 seconds, they say. Every time you go back home, try to avoid touching your face and inshallah, you'll be protected. But to be intimidated, to be afraid beyond the normal levels, to stop going to the masjid, subhanallah. In times of crisis, we have to turn to Allah Azza wa Jal, supplicate, pray. Yes, if I'm infected, if I fear that I might be infected, I have to, as an obligation, stay home, put myself in quarantine, not to endanger other Muslims. But if I'm healthy and there's nothing wrong in me, then yes, you go to the masjid, you enjoy praying behind the imam and ask Allah Azza wa Jal to protect you and don't give in to people's criticism. As for whether you're 50 or 60 years of age, last week, one of those infected by the COVID-19 uh, in uh, Yohan province in, in China, he recovered. And how old was he? He was 100 years old. So it is in Allah's hands. If I fall sick, it is him who cures me. Don't hype it and exaggerate, but do not at the same time underestimate. Do your due diligence, try to wash your hands, try to stay away from physical contact, but live normally. Don't think that whatever you touch is gonna contaminate you or endanger you. This is too much and Allah Azza wa knows best.